The atomic trader on steroids expert advisor is an EA from LeapFX and according to their webpage, they have been trading for five months with 139% worth of profit. This is the Vendors My FX book page and this is a real account on the Blaze Markets broker with 200 to 1 leverage. And I noticed this one started off with $30,000, a single deposit with no further deposits and no withdrawal since it was started back in March of 2023, so about six months ago. And currently, as of recording, the vendor has made 482%. And if we take a look at the drawdown chart, it, according to this, it says about 30%, but the drawdown on the left here says about 44%. So I'll always go with the higher number. When you're looking at my FX book results, what you want to see is a jagged lines. Notice how this one is a smooth line. That's because uh, this is not updated live. The last update was about uh, 14 days ago on January the 30th. What you need to pay attention for is the lot size. So you'll notice that most of the time, if I move my mouse on top of these ones, you'll see the lot size is fairly small, 1.6, 4 point something, but occasionally you see the lot size jump up. I think this one is a 54 lot trade. Over here, we've got a 57 lot trade, so they can be reasonably big. Here is a 64 lot trade. And if we scroll down to the open trades, Unfortunately, these are hidden, but we can learn a lot from the history trades right here. What I'm going to do is instead of looking at this table down here, I'm going to scroll up and export this to CSV. I'm going to use a tool called MyFX2MT4 because there's limited knowledge you can gain from looking at a bunch of rows in a table. You can gain so much more knowledge about how an expert advisor trades when you look at the charts. And this is what the script will do. Remember, this is not my account. This is the vendor's account. I have just managed to put all the trades on the chart so we can see it visually. On the top, I've got the US CAD and on the bottom, I've got the US CAD as well. Both are exactly the same trades. But on the top, I've got it showing the dollar amount in profit and at the bottom, I've got it showing in lots. So let's take a look initially at the dollar amount. And first of all, when I'm looking at this kind of a movement, I can already tell that this is a grid martingale expert advisor because you can see in the blue are buy trades and in the red are sell trades. So we can see a whole bunch of buy trades and the price is going down. And we can see this first trade made a loss of 347. And at the bottom here, this last trade made a profit of 686. So you, when you add up all these trades together, they will eventually be in profit. But this is not the chart I'm after. I want to understand the lot sizing method and the money management for this expert advisor. So this is the same chart and you can see uh, for these bunch of trades, this first one started at 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and then we're jumping to 0 0.72, 0 0.72, 0 0.72, and then again, we're jumping in into 1.3, 1.3, and 1.3. We can tell already that these trades are grouped into threes. So we see a whole bunch of um, 0.4 trades, and then it jumps up to about 1.8, 1.9 multiplier to 0.72, and then the next three trades is 1.3. Let's scroll to the left and see um, the worst case scenario. So for this particular move, um, the biggest lot size we've seen here is a 7.56. So I'm just gonna scroll to the right. Uh, 4.2 lot size and here is 2.1 lot size. This type of money management I call personally grid martingale expert advisors and these can have high drawdowns which is why it's important to note that the vendor started off with a 30,000 account. This is not a $300 account. I've run two separate tests with this expert advisor to try and figure out the best settings that work with my account size. This is the first account of testing, and this was on an IG broker demo with a $10,000 balance, and I was trading at 0.01 lot size on the US CAD, which is one of the recommended currency pairs. Unfortunately for this account, I did see a margin call, um, which is why you see all these buy trades um, end up with a loss here. What is interesting though, is that you get a total of six set files from the vendor. To understand the expert advisor, the settings will tell you a lot. On the left, I've got here the default settings. In the middle, I've got my first test. And on the right, I've got my second test, which I will show you in a bit. 
Now notice on the default settings, you've got the lot multiplier set to two, which is a aggressive martingale strategy. And at the bottom, you can see the different settings. Obviously, we can see that they're using a moving average, they're using a MACD, and there's some overbought and oversold levels. When I ran my first test, you can see the settings that were provided by the vendor were very aggressive with a multiplier of 1.9 and some were set at 2. However, um, after discussions with uh, LeapFX, I reduced my multiplier down to 1.3. But if you download the settings right now today, you'll see that the multiplier is set to number 1.2. And this is, as of recording, what the settings you'll um, get from the vendor, you'll see the Aussie New Zealand 15 minute time frame, the lot multiply is set to 1.2 and I also notice that there is a stop loss and a take profit. If I scroll to the right some more, you can see this one also has a stop loss, Euro Pound has a stop loss, Euro USD has a 50 stop loss, Pound US also has one, a 100 stop loss and lastly the US CAD which um, resulted in a margin call notice that this one does not have a stop loss so if you wanted to be less aggressive with, with your trading of this expert advisor I would probably remove the US CAD because there is no stop loss on this currency pair something else that I found interesting is how my results differ to the vendors now for my first demo test I was testing on an IG broker with a 200 to 1 leverage and the IG broker is not great in terms of spreads whereas the um, vendors results which I've got down below so this one is based on a go uh, blaze markets account and I have checked the spreads on blaze markets and it is pretty good so that's why you'll see different results across a different brokers this is the exact same time frame whereas I have seen a big drawdown here the vendor has not seen that big drawdown and their account has survived now this is my second test with the automic trader and I've modified the multiplier to 1.3 this one again is an, on an IG demo account that started off with $10,000 and this one is currently in profit of $400 and the biggest drawdown which I've seen in the past uh, month of trading is about $150. And so far I have been trading all the six different currency pairs that are recommended by the vendor including the US CAD. This is my MT4 terminal. You can see I've got a six charts open all on the 15 minute time frame all on the currency pairs recommended by the vendor. Over to the account history tab and you can see this one started off at $10,000. It is a grid and martingale expert advisor. So if I sort by the lot size, the biggest uh, lot size I've seen over the past just over a month of trading is 0.05 on the Euro US. So let's take a look at all the Euro US trades on a chart. And this one has been going since the Jan. So we can see again the grid martingale aspect come into play. Uh, sometimes the trades hit take profit reasonably quickly. Other times you see a reasonably big drawdown. This one right here is a 70 pip drawdown and up here is a 94 pip drawdown. So understand that this is a high drawdown expert advisor, especially when we see big trends like this. They do offer a 30 day money back guarantee and for a price of $997 you get one license. As always this is not a recommendation to buy this expert advisor, I merely present the facts as best I can in an unbiased way so you have all of the information that you need to decide if this expert advisor is for you. This is one expert advisor from LeapFX. Watch this video next to see five other expert advisors are reviewed by the same vendor. Thanks, bye.